All right, everybody out there. So um, you, if you guys have been watching my videos, I was a victim of mortgage fraud and notary fraud um, a couple weeks after my son died. And they were able to steal everything my son raised and then put me through five years of court why they tried to conceal the crimes committed against me. And when I caught them at court, um, they have refused to hear anything since. So since May of 2020, I have never been to court. There has been no trials, no juries, no discovery. They, the judges continue to put in orders based on no evidence to protect two brokers from having to make me whole for what their workers did. So there's also 26 Nevada judges who have all ignored evidence, have all concealed evidence, and begin retaliating against me for asking for justice, which according to our constitution is illegal. But because they've been able to do this in the jurisdiction of Nevada, nobody is doing anything to them. And they all, they've gone as far as to re-enter my home without a court order, without transferring possession, remove my things, and Bobby Ante tried to sell the house. A man who I have proven committed fraud against me. So I got a letter from an expert, NRS 205.170. Please look up these laws. And it says, an expert proves forgery. I got a court certified, board certified, handwriting expert. He confirmed my, my signature was forged, and this notary has still not been arrested. She also violated NRS 240.065B, which she, she cannot collect commission and be a notary and say, this person signed it, and then collect commission for it. You can't do that. So no one has addressed either one of these crimes that this woman has committed, but now I'm attacked. My foundation is being attacked. My things are being stolen and they are now extorting legal fees through the legal system Why their attorneys are committing malpractice. So I am asking you guys to stop the abuse of power, to stand up because we do not need celebrities to bring change. We have enough people who all they have to do is educate yourself on those two laws, two laws, NRS 240.065B and then NRS 205.170. If you learn those two laws and look at the simple evidence that I've given, you clearly see that everything I've said is the truth. But because we have criminals running our court systems, we have lawyers that are not being monitored. We have government offices that use our taxes to pay them, but are not doing their jobs. So even though I've reported this to the secretary of state four or five times, both notaries, they live next door to each other. They've taken no action. So if deciding not to stand behind me is going to allow all 26 of these judges to remain on the bench. So when the next person walks into that courtroom, they're going to do the exact same thing to them if they're going to protect the business and the money rather than follow the law and protect our rights in the Constitution. So I am going to keep it short this time. I'm going to show you the very clear evidence of what I just said. And then I'm going to show you the 26 judges that have been attacking me now for two years while the Supreme Court refuses to hear anything and has now tried to allow Bobby to illegally sell the house. A man I haven't talked to or seen in four years, and he's now stolen all of my mom's stuff, all of her medical equipment. And she's coming home today and has doesn't have her bed. She doesn't have her lift. And, and I don't understand how much abuse I have to publicly suffer before people actually wake up to what's going on and watch and, and realize that our rights are being taken away from us right before our eyes every day. And when we come out and we educate ourselves and we ask for our rights to be upheld, then we are now called mentally ill. So you go, educating myself makes me mentally ill, then you know it's become a scary place. So look at the evidence and join me in, in demanding that the FBI get involved and they follow the Constitution because any person who knowingly conceals a crime is guilty of it. So that means 26 Nevada judges should be put in jail. And that's where they belong because I am not the first person they've hurt. 
So please join me by going to our petition at www.change.org forward slash justice for Aiden's mom. Subscribe to us on YouTube at Lindsay Lucari Life After Loss. And that's where you will see all the evidence of everything that I'm telling you and can see other videos, court hearings of two separate judges because they switched it. So just follow the page and let's bring change and reform to our community and some trust back into our court systems. NRS 205.170 says an expert may prove forgery. I have provided an expert to the court three months prior to the final decree of divorce that proved the forgery and the courts completely ignored it. Here is an expert confirming forgery. He is court certified, board certified, and is still court and board certified. He has confirmed that my name was forged to the document and he did this prior to Raina Hughes entering her final decree of divorce three months prior to her fabricating the divorce decree. According to NRS 205.170, I have now proven that my name was forged and I am a victim of a crime. This is the final decree of divorce. The case was filed in June of 2018. It wasn't until February of 2020 for a two month marriage that there was finally a trial. At the trial, they removed evidence, fabricated a whole ruling, and then Raina Hughes waited six months after the trial to issue this fabricated order, which was only issued because she got ex parte communications that I had filed lease pendants on my home and was trying to claim title to the home. NRS 240.065 prohibits any notary from performing a notarial act if they will receive any money in excess of the fee of the notary. Therefore, Nikki Sakakis Spot could not be the escrow agent and collect commission and also be the notary, and neither could her neighbor, Melanie Traynor. This is the closing disclosure for the loan. You can see in the bottom right hand corner on the first page, Nikki Sakakis Bot was the escrow agent who collected commission. You can see on the right hand side that she also collected notary fees and commission, which is a very clear violation of NRS 240.065, but has been ignored by the Secretary of State, County Recorder, the Police Department and 26 Nevada judges. NRS 240.120 requires that every notary keep a journal. Nikki Sakakis bot failed to produce a journal with my signature because I never signed it. Yet nothing was ever done and Nikki Sakakis bot has still not been arrested. On the left, you will find the response from the Nevada Secretary of State when I filed my first complaint against Nikki Sakakis Bot. Notice in the first page on the top right corner that they put the date, December of 2018. So they had very clear knowledge that Nikki Sakakis Bot was the notary and the escrow agent. And she also failed to turn in her journal, which you would see on the right. And they still took no action, have refused to pay out the bond, and still have not arrested this escrow agent notary that committed fraud. This is from the Secretary of State when they responded to my complaint. So you can clearly see that they are acknowledging again Nikki Sakakis spot was the notary and the escrow agent. They also noted on there that I said my name was forged. So when they found out she didn't turn in her journal and acted 
As the escrow agent and notary, this was enough information for them to act and to ensure that it was transferred to criminal court. But Nevada Secretary of State has concealed this and refuses to take action and has allowed the attacks to continue. Here you will see the forged quit claim deed. I did not sign this. I was not present at the title company. And Nikki Sakakis bought was the notary. She could not be the escrow agent that collected commission and the notary. This is very clear evidence of the fraud that has been committed against me. NRS 205.110 that says every person knowing that something is forged or altered and with intent to defraud utters or offers dispose of are put off as true or have in his or her possession with intent to utter so is now guilty of the very same crime. So all these judges ignoring this evidence is making them guilty of the same crimes, which means every single judge under the color of law violating my rights should be imprisoned. NRS 240.150 is the liability for misconduct and neglect. So when Nikki Sakakis bought committed notary fraud, forgery, her employer was then liable to make me whole and cover the damages and the restitution that is owed to me for the crimes committed against me. To date, Tracy Bouchard has only been protected and has never been held accountable for the actions of his employee and still has not fired her. This is the broker for National Title Company, Tracy Bouchard. He was notified of Nikki Sakakis notary fraud and never took any action against his employee. Instead, he got her counsel, protected her, and tried to ensure that I got no damages and restitutions for the crimes committed against me. Here is the email on 12-3-2018 to the broker, Tracy Bouchard, informing him of the misconduct of Nikki Sakakis' bot. He took no action, then retained counsel for her, tried to conspire with my counsel to evade prosecution, and has still not fired Nikki Sakakis' bot as he continues to represent her to evade prosecution and having to make me whole for the damages she's caused. This is Nikki Sakakis Spot, the escrow agent who also acted as the notary and forged my name. She has not been arrested, she has violated very clear laws, and she is still running free and slandering me, my foundation, and mocking the death of my son. Please join me in demanding that the FBI arrest Nikki Sakakis Spot for the crimes you have just seen. All the way to the right, you will see broker Jeff Moore, the broker of Linda Na, and he works for ERA Consolidated. He is the broker who has helped them pay their legal fees, seek counsel, and has used his connections to the community, including in this photo where he was honored at Galvar, to conceal the crimes of his employee, Linda Na. He is supposed to be held liable for her actions and has not been held liable for anything that she has done because of the corruption of the Nevada courts and the government offices. This is Linda Not Purdue, the realtor who has conspired with Bobby to evade prosecution, who helped him illegally put the house into his name solely. And when I caught him, found him counsel at Shumway Van, where they share the exact same attorney, which is legal malpractice. Yet the state bar has done nothing to stop any of it.
Here's a text message from Bobby Ante on July 1st, 2018, five days after I found out he had fraudulently accepted conveyance into his name solely. He here admits I did not go to the title company. He went alone. So he admits that Raina Hughes's ruling is fabricated and that I wasn't at the title company and he never spoke to me about not being on the title. He simply fraudulently conveyed title into his own name, paid off his entire life and then ran to the realtor when he got caught. Attorneys may not impose conflict of interest. So Shumway Van, Garrett Chase, Grayson Moulton, and Michael Van, all representing Bobby Ante and Linda Na, and themselves against me, is legal malpractice. Here you are looking at two separate cases. On the left, you see the divorce matter. And this is the order that was entered in after I first reported the fraud and forgery. Notice that the order, the original date was in August. They then switched it when they switched judges. And then Raina Hughes then put in this order after it was switched to her by Kathy Hardcastle, which she was not even the judge over the matter or that hearing. On the right, you will see Linda Na Purdue's case, also represented by the exact same law firm. And you can see here on 921 of 2020, I clearly won this case in summary judgment because they are all committing fraud. But they have continued to litigate these matters unnecessarily, denying me justice, attacking my work, and mocking the death of my son. It clearly states here that an attorney cannot represent two co-defendants. So Linda Na and Bobby Ante using the same lawyers, being each other's witnesses and conspiring to conceal their crimes, it's illegal and his law firm should be debarred and shut down. You can also see that they impose an additional conflict of interest, being that they were then sued for legal malpractice for their actions in the divorce hearing, which there was never, ever a hearing, and it was dismissed by their buddy judge. But it imposes additional conflict of interest and shows that they should not be representing Bobby or Linda Na over this matter against me. You will see on the right that I filed to quiet the title of my home and September of 2020. There has never been a hearing. There has never been a trial. There is no jury and there is no discovery. It's been dismissed and everybody awarded legal fees that have been a charge to me. Through NRS 205.170, I provided an expert that proved my signature was forged. Therefore, I proved I was a victim of a crime. It's a federal crime, mortgage fraud and notary fraud and wire fraud. So therefore, I'm entitled to the rights protected in the Constitution to have counsel, to be protected from the accused, to be treated fairly. And none of this has happened. I have been degraded. I have been stolen from. I have been lied about and I have been attacked for simply asking for justice. And I ask you all to stand with me now by signing the petition and demanding the FBI do their job.
its ups and downs to turn your pretty face into an ugly frown seems that when I fix one thing another one comes clouding up my vision but I can feel the sun 